Hello everybody, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, so I thought I would do something a little different. Um, a couple of my friends who do, you know, album reviews and stuff have done, uh, you know, band worst to best albums uh, videos in the past, and I've done one on this channel as well for the band Pain of Salvation, so yeah, it's been a while since I've done a talkie video. I figure I might as well do one. Uh, for another one of my favorite bands that I've been listening to a lot lately. So, this is the band Cynic, Worst to Best. Now, one of the things about this band is they don't really have a lot of full-length material. Um, all of their albums are kind of like EPs or shorter uh, things, so I'm including everything that's what I would call original. Um, there's no unofficial releases, so I won't be including their early demos on this. Um, the Portal tapes are not going to be included on this. Uh, just anything that's an original, official release. So, let's get started from their worst. Starting with their worst, I'm going to go with one of their more recent singles, Humanoid. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preface this by saying I enjoy every single Cynic release. Every single one of them has something really good that makes me happy to listen to them. And this song, it's a single, just one song, is no exception. Um, Humanoid is a fantastic piece of music, great guitar playing, uh, great overlapping instrumental parts, uh, great vocal work from Paul Masvidal, as usual, great guitar solos. Um, the only thing is that it does feel a little uncharacteristically cynic by numbers. Um, it really just kind of has like a riff that seems to be aping the best elements of Cynic's past, particularly the Focus album and uh, tracks like Evolutionary Sleeper. It doesn't really lend itself as well to, you know, pushing Cynic's music forward. Just a little bit above Humanoid, on this is their most recent release, Ascension Codes. Now, I find Ascension Codes is a bit weird because this is the first album uh, that doesn't feature Sean Malone on bass after, sadly, he committed suicide. Uh, it's the second release after Humanoid not to feature Sean Reinhardt on drums. Uh, he had been replaced by Matt Lynch he also quite sadly passed away in 2020 as well, so uh, that's both of the Sean's, the whole rhythm section, passed away in 2020. So he's kind of left with this new band with Matt Lynch from, I believe it's Triosscapes on drums, and I don't even remember the name of the new bass player, but he's not actually a bass player, he's a synthesizer player, so you're not actually hearing any bass guitar on the record, it's all synth bass. And... It leads to a bit of an odd sound for Cynic, and just something that, you know, it's very much driven by Paul Masvidal's guitar playing and his vocals, but it lacks a sort of immediacy as well. Now, my definition of immediacy in this is very subjective, and it really just comes down to, did I like it the first time I heard it? Was it something I could immediately get into? And with Ascension Codes, the answer is just straight up no. I couldn't get into it the first time. It was just a little too weird. There are far too many shorter ambient tracks that kind of go nowhere. A little bit of filler here and there. Uh, it's probably the closest Cynic has ever made to an actual, like, bad album. That being said, like I said, I enjoy every Cynic release. This one has some really fantastic moments on it. But in terms of their full-length albums, this is very far down the list for me. Even below some other EPs and shorter releases from them. And maybe it'll grow on me a bit more as I listen to it more often. I just listened to it in full today and kind of found myself digging parts of it and found myself having to sort of, eh, do I like it or do I not at some other section? So we'll see how this goes. All right, next up is Carbon-Based Anatomy. Now, I'm going to be honest, this is another one where I actually really like it. It's a really good EP, 
but it's one of those things where I think of it as three really good songs and three filler ambient tracks. Now, the thing with the filler ambient tracks is they do sort of, you know, glue the pieces together, but at the same time, I kind of feel like if they'd taken the length of time they'd devoted to these ambient tracks and put out another full-length good Cynic song, uh, this EP would have been fantastic. Uh, the three full-length songs that are on it, the, car, uh, the title track, uh, Box Up My Bones, Elvis Beam Out, they're weird, but they're enjoyable songs. So it's kind of like half the EP is just kind of there to be filler, really. Next up on the list, you might give me some crap for putting this above the last one, considering what I said about the last one. But where the last one is very enjoyable, I do find that the main three songs on it, you know, they wouldn't be my top ten Cynic tracks. Whereas Retraced has probably one of my favorite overall songs from Cynic, and that's Wheels Within Wheels, the closing track, which is the only fully original number on this EP. Uh, the rest of the songs are sort of ambient or acoustic uh, representations, reimaginings of uh, songs from the album that came before it, Trace and Air. And uh, I, I don't like the reimagined versions any better than the original, although uh, I will admit the uh, version of Integral is really cool. Uh, it's very intimate, which, you know, that's very awesome, but I really don't go to uh, Retraced for any of the Trace and Air reimagined material. I go to it for Wheels Within Wheels, and that's a song that's, like, constantly in my rotation. So, therefore, I think uh, Retraced is probably a better overall package than carbon-based anatomy, but carbon-based anatomy has uh, a greater percentage overall of time on it that's enjoyable. All right, so this is the one on the list that I think real Cynic fans are going to give me the hardest time about, and that is Focus. That's right, you've done the power of deduction, you figured out that Focus is not my number one. Don't get me wrong, Focus is fantastic that it's one of the greatest 90s death metal albums of all time hell i own a copy of it on cassette from poland because it's such an important album but it is different from the other releases in a very fundamental way uh it's definitely much more rooted in the metal side of things than the progressive side and even the jazz fusion side of things that cynic would more deeply explore on future releases. But that being said, like I said, Focus is still an absolutely important release. If you're going to check out like any progressive, technical death metal album from the 90s, you owe it to yourself to get a copy of Focus. It is magnificent. It is chef's kiss. So now we get on to an album that's also probably going to get me a lot of crap for where I put it, and that's Kindly Bent to Free Us. Uh, yes, I think it's better than Focus. I really like what they did with this album in terms of taking a more songwriting-based approach to Cynic material than the past, where there was a lot more uh, riffy, metal kind of stuff. And they've kind of given it a much more straight-up progressive rock flair, but they did so without removing any of the overt technicality from the music. It's still very challenging music. Lots of really cool guitar lines that intertwine, even though uh, this is the first release not to feature a second guitarist. And um, yeah, just lots of really cool vocal parts. More padded out kind of stuff, but not in a not in a bad way. It's all just very well thought out material and it's definitely on the lighter side. Uh, even some of the uh, albums and singles and EPs that I talked about previously have sort of gone back to focusing on the more metal oriented side. This is definitely 
Cynic's softest moment. But at the same time, there's still these really gripping guitar riffs, solos, and melodies all over. It's a very melodic release. It's also one of the few where Paul sings more cleanly without the weird like robotic vocal effect that he always has. Um, that's something he doesn't really do all that much. Um, this is actually, I, I dare to say, for those of you who are really big fans of Cynic, you probably have heard of their side project, Eon Spoke. I would say that Kindly Bent to Free Us is more like a prog rock version of what uh, Paul and Sean Reinert were doing in Eon Spoke than like a full-fledged Cynic album. But it's still just mind-blowing. I, I listen to it and I'm still just gripped by some of the songs on it, uh, especially The Lion's Roar, um, Moonsart, Moonheart, Sun Head, Infinite Shapes, True Hallucination Speak. Those four tracks are just an absolutely perfect album opener. All right, so all of this brings me to my number one Cynic release, and you've probably used Powers of Deduction to figure this one out. Traced in Air. I think this album is the perfect representation of everything good about Cynic. You have the great metal riffs. There's still a little bit of harsh vocal death metal stuff left over. It's sort of a vestigial organ, I guess, from Focus. But it's also more buried in the mix. It's not something that's as prominent. And in fact, they did a remix version of it in 2019 that removes the harsh vocals altogether. In fact, that decision has led to a little bit of controversy about that. Some people like the harsh vocals. So if you don't like harsh vocals in your music, you actually have a choice. You can listen to the remixed version, which uh, further shows off Sean Malone's bass playing, which is positive, and gets rid of the harsh vocals. But at the same time, you still have these incredible songs that are written, uh, very melodic material. This has probably got some of the closest stuff to true jazz fusion that Cynic has ever done. I mean, uh, the John McLaughlin and Al Dimiola influences are almost impossible to deny when you listen to this album. I mean, there's so much of this that's just Mahavishnu Orchestra to a T. And, I mean, they did a better job, I think, of really emphasizing those influences on this record while still holding true to the sort of progressive metal and melodic aspects that they were going for from Cynic, uh, from Focus, I mean, and really showing what they were going to do moving forward with Cynic in the future with, you know, Carbon Based Anatomy, uh, Kindly Bent to Free Us, and so on. So, yeah, it's probably one of my all-time favorite records. Uh, definitely my favorite Cynic record. Uh, every single track on it is perfect. Every single one. And there isn't a single moment on this record that feels out of place or that I would change for any reason. It's just great. And one of the things that I really like about Cynic overall, and this applies to almost all of their albums, is they tend to go for very short, punchy material. Rarely going more than eight songs. The songs rarely ever go past six minutes long. You're basically getting like a full progressive metal experience, but in albums that are barely 40 minutes long, sometimes even shorter than that. And you really don't have to devote a whole lot of time to sit through Cynic's discography. I mean, on this worst to best list, I listed a freaking single <laughs> because that's how they do. That's how they roll. They don't do like big, hundred twenty minute double albums. It's very short, punchy albums, EPs, and singles, and you can get through them in a very quick amount of time. And they they're really good at just focusing, pun intended, their sound into something that's very condensed and palatable in a more mainstream way, despite the fact that their music is anything but mainstream. So 
I, I would actually say rec I recommend checking Cynic out. If you're kind of averse to the whole prog rock idea of like 40 minute songs and uh, double albums, Cynic might be your prog band. So anyway, yeah, Trace and Air. I would all I if I had to suggest two albums for any new Cynic fan to start with, it's their first two, obviously. You've got to get focus cuz that's their roots, their death metal roots. And then you got to get Trace and Air to see what they've become as a more contemporary progressive rock band. So anyway, there you go. My best to worst for Cynic. So just to go over it again, uh, my order from worst to best, Humanoid, Ascension Codes, Carbon-Based Anatomy, Retraced, Focus, Kindly Bent to Free Us, and finally their best one, Traced in Air. Thank you, and it's been fun. <laughs>